Howdy guys, today it's going to be a 2-4. We're going to have a quick look at Pop! OS 22 and also at the new pre-alpha Cosmic Desktop. So Pop! OS is from System76. I've installed it once before on my partner's laptop. She used it for all of 5 minutes before dual booting back into Windows 10. For my part, it looked like a simpler and easier version of Ubuntu, which is saying something as Ubuntu is already simple and easy. I am, however, quite excited to check out the Cosmic Desktop. It shares no common DNA with either KDE or GNOME and is a completely new beast. This is exciting times. There will be a lot of new ideas to come out of this and hopefully shake up the Linux desktop scene. So far, this installer has been Almost too easy. I just filled in a few things and clicked continue and off it went. Not a massive fan of this progress screen. Looks a bit simplistic. They aren't really trying to lead people into their new operating system. As if they are trying to get it installed and stay out of the way. Which is a good thing for some people. Right, that was the most uneventful installer ever. So we will need to restart. This is a great little start screen. So often you're just dropped into the OS without any tour or intro, but these little tweaks are a good way to get the user to interact with their new system. I think I'll make this look like my normal GNOME desktop. Okay, finally we get to the big questions, light or dark mode. So desktop reached. I think from memory, one thing I didn't like was the application menu that Pop! OS uses. It is nicely categorized, but just looks a little boring and workmanlike. Firstly, I thought fix the screen resolution. And then I noticed this awesome fractional scaling feature. On Linux Mint and a couple of other distros, I just couldn't get my sizing perfect, so big tick for Pop! OS. This settings application seems very thorough. There's just heaps of various configurations all listed in one spot. Although one thing I haven't been able to find is theme switching. They do have a good selection of Pop! OS specific wallpapers. Nice work. They do have a number of tweaks that's possible for the top bar and the dash. But there does not seem to be anything you'd call customization. Where's the skins, guys? Pop! OS also supports tiling window behavior with the flick of a switch. Now, this is interesting because you would normally have to use a dedicated tiling window manager like i3, but Pop! OS letting you try it out as such reduces the barrier for entry. I've never been a big fan of tiling window managers, but given how easy Pop! OS makes it to switch back and forth, I would give it a go. Now we have the Pop Shop or the software center, which Pop! OS uses. Looks pretty similar to others like Ubuntu and Fedora. I much prefer the apt repository environment to others. I do like how they have laid out the shop. These categories names both look good and sound right. I can see how a new user could just find the app they're looking for right away without too much searching. I'm seeing a general theme of common sense with Pop! OS. Nothing too flashy, just getting the job done well. 
The default file manager is Nautilus or files, same as GNOME. I'm used to it, so I'm happy with it. I know you can switch to Nemo if you prefer, but I'm not bothered either way. Now, I was just having a play with this little desktop settings dialog. It has a few nice toggles to enable and disable specific desktop icons, which is cool. But there seems to be no way to actually close it. So I'm trying a few things like Control plus X or C and eventually try Alt and F4, which does the trick. That was very weird. I'm not sure if that was a bug or something, but it can't be normal behavior. Okay, guys, that's probably it for Pop! OS version 22. It has lots of nice details, like this search bar, which I think will be appreciated by someone just wanting a stable, easy to use operating system. I can see what the Pop! OS team were aiming for. Building something that blends into the background so you can actually get work done, it gives you just enough control. I'm not sure it's the best for an existing Linux user who likes to mess around and tinker. Righto, onwards and upwards. Let's first do an apt update and let it do its thing. After that, we need to do sudo apt install cosmic desktop. This should download all the required packages. It might take a while, but I believe after this, we should just be able to reboot into the new system. Let's pick Cosmic Greeter for this. Okay, so here we are. That was easy. I just restarted and it went straight to the new Cosmic Greeter login screen. We are now logged in. Screen resolution seems a bit off. Let me try to fix that. Okay, so I've fixed the resolution, but there still seems to be some display issues. As this is pre-alpha software, that's pretty understandable. Now, from what I've heard, the new Cosmic desktop is built in Rust, so it should be quite fast. I know they've built a few applications like an editor, an entire widget system and a completely new theming system, which should be unlike anything we've seen on, on GNOME or KDE. I do like how it looks, even in this initial stage. It feels incomplete, of course, but also it feels very slick somehow. Guys, we found the theming system. It's under the Control Center app, and it looks pretty good. It lets you pick colors for primary and secondary elements and highlights. This is really nice. I can see myself spending hours with this, just getting my desktop perfect. Now, I don't know how far along the final interface elements are, but even at this early stage, it looks very light and sleek. I really like how the windows blend in with the top bar and the dash and looks seamless when maximized. There's a few things that I'm very excited for. I can see some bits are still just placeholders, but this is very promising. Okay guys, so what do you think? Are you a Pop! OS user? And are you looking forward to Cosmic being officially launched? I'm not a Pop! OS fanboy, but I'm putting this on my list to look out for. It will be awesome to see what the FOSS community does with this after it's live. Exciting times. Well, guys, hope that was fun to watch. Please like and subscribe. Until next time.